Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It is Tuesday today. I'm telling you all the days are blending together and I can never remember like what day it is or what time it is. It's just all meshing together. But I figured I would quickly get ready with you, do like a light makeup look. I like getting ready because I feel like if I don't, I don't know, I just feel like my whole day is ruined. So I'm gonna get ready. Also, I, I was able to do my nails. So this is what they look like. And I think they're okay. I would give myself, at first I gave myself a C plus, but now I would give myself like a B plus. So I definitely have to perfect them, but I use this whole gel kit and I really like it. Um, definitely takes some patience and practice, but so far so good. So let's just get ready quickly together. Teddy, do you have a toy? Teddy obviously wants to say hi too. I'm gonna use this first, this sugar, fresh sugar, blood orange lip balm, cause my lips are dry. There's a couple of appointments that I actually missed and one of them was my lips, cause I haven't gotten my lips done since last July. And then the other one was my hair. I'm not gonna be able to do my hair myself, that's for damn sure. I'm gonna use this. This is the Good, Molecule, Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I have not tried this yet. So I'm gonna use this. I actually placed an order off Amazon this morning, so that will be coming in in a few days. I guess some things are able to ship from Amazon and then some things are not if they're not at the warehouse. So I placed an order, I'm really excited about it because I got something that I've been wanting for a really long time. I will show you guys that once I have it in, but I'm really, really excited. All right, next, if you don't have this, you need it. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This makes your skin look really good. I'm not self-tan right now, so this is darker than me, but it is like a miracle product. It makes everything look so smooth and glowy and literally a filter in a bottle. What are you doing, Puff? Huh? So I'm just gonna blend this in with my fingers. It gives you a really, really nice glow. I think tonight I'm gonna self-tan because it has been a while. Okay, this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. It is full coverage. This is in the shade F7, so it is the lighter shade that I have. I do have F8 as well. Even this, I think it's gonna be too dark. Oh no, it's not bad. Oh my God, my battery is going to die. I might have to charge you for a second and then come back because my battery is blinking. All right, I had to let my camera charge a little bit, but I ended up doing the Born This Way concealer and then I used the Huda Beauty Sculpt in light just to kind of sculpt. And then I also used my, for my brows, I used Sketch and Set from Tarte. So that is what I've done so far. Now I'm gonna use this has been my favorite. This is CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blush in the shade 370 Butterflies. This is so pretty for like every day. So I just use a little bit of this and then I just put it on the apples and then back a little bit. And then I blend it in with my stippling brush. Also, I'm going to clean my brushes today because that is a must. I feel like I don't clean my makeup brushes as often as I should. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm also gonna make banana bread with you guys. And I thought I was allergic because my doctor said if I was allergic to kiwi and latex, then I'm also allergic to bananas. So strange. But I did not get an allergic reaction. So I'm gonna make it again because we have old bananas. And instead of throwing them out, I'm just gonna bake with them. All right, so that's what the blush looks like. And then for bronzer, or to go over the contour actually, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is a really nice cool tone. So I'm gonna use this and hope that my battery does not die again. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Cappuccino, which is kind of dark. So I'm just gonna use a very light hand with it. Cause like I said, I am on the paler side right now. 
but it's a oh god that looks blotchy it's a really more of like a red tone bronzer definitely don't want it to look patchy and then for highlight i'm going to use the kaja mochi glow in number two prism so this is a really pretty like iridescent shift of a, like a light pink so i'm just going to use this with my fingertips and put it right here and on my nose okay last thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna do mascara but i'm gonna do it off camera since my battery's dying but i'm gonna use the whirl lip liner from mac and i'm just going to blot my lips and then in the center i'm going to use the tarte beach babe lipstick which is like a lighter nude And that's how that looks. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna do mascara and then I will be all set. All right, so this is my makeup of the day and it's pretty natural. Just gonna be around the house, around the living room, in the kitchen, taking naps, you know. It seems like Teddy already needs a haircut. Your tongue is cold, are you okay? Are you all right? Um, seems like Teddy already needs to get groomed soon, so I don't know, that's gonna be hard, I feel like we're gonna have to drop him off at Petco. I think that's what they're doing, but he definitely needs to get groomed soon. And the tickies are out. He does have a tick collar, but we need to get him a new one. You are the cutest thing. You're so sleepy. Oh, that was disgusting. That was directly in the roof of my mouth. That was gross. All right, so I am lighting my Jasmine Waters candle. It smells so good in the bathroom. And then I'm just gonna wash these brushes. These are the main ones that I use almost every single day. So I'm just gonna deep clean these. I think I have another sponge to clean too, but this looks so gross. So I'm just gonna clean these and I will feel good. I will check it off my list of accomplishments for the day. My natural hair is actually freaking wild it's <laughs> so crazy but we're gonna make banana bread i just made this last week and it was really good so i found this on tiktok so i'll show you guys the ingredients that you need and i'm gonna bake it today and it's gonna be freaking delicious i'm really proud of myself that i made a delicious banana bread last time so this time i even want to make it better so let me show you so this is everything that you need to make a really good banana bread. So you need three to four or even more bananas. Last time I did four and I felt like it was a little too much. So I'm gonna do three and you want your bananas to kind of look like this. So they're kind of mushy. So I'm gonna use three of those. Um, you only need like a pinch of salt. You need unsalted butter, but this one is salted. So I'm sure that's fine. Um, we need pure vanilla extract, baking soda, two eggs, flour, light brown sugar, and I'm gonna add some ground cinnamon. So I'm just gonna mix this all together and I will show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I just mixed everything together. So this is what it should look like. It's kind of hard for me to get like the banana chunks to be down because I don't have an actual like whisk. Is it a whisk or a wisp? Whisk. whisk whisk i don't have an actual whisk but i did just order one off of amazon so this is as good as it's gonna get for like consistency wise and now i'm just gonna pour it into this which is a bread pan and it's already oiled and hopefully this comes out even better than the last one because it's a little bit less chunky My goodness. And you wanna cook this for 45 minutes at 350 degrees. I actually had to put mine in a little bit longer than that though, so I'd probably say like 55. So this is what it looks like before, and now I'm just gonna pop it in the oven. All right, it's been almost like an hour. Oh God. It smells good. That's what it looks like. Is this hot? 
Yeah, it's not bad. That's what it looks like. I feel like the top of it doesn't look like normal people's like banana bread, but it smells really good. It smells like brown sugar and bananas. So I'm gonna let this rest here. And then me, Teddy, and Scott are gonna go for a walk because it, the sun is out. The sun's out. I don't know if anyone wants to go for a walk. <laughs> I look actually crazy. I wish I could have gotten my hair done before all of this happened because definitely growing in a lot darker. Um, I want to know how you guys are feeling about everything. I want to know if you're like staying busy, if you have your days. For me personally, I have good days and bad days. I have some days when I wake up and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe like we're stuck inside for another 30 days. So I do get sad about it. Um, and then I have some days that I like set goals and I'm like really productive and I feel good about things, but I just want to, I just want to know how you guys are feeling. So let me know in the comments down below. I know this is a hard time, but we are all going through it. So for some reason that like makes me feel better that we're like in this together. So yeah, I think I'm going to end my vlog now. I'm trying to stay upbeat and like happy, but I can what tell like... That? I can tell in my voice that I'm not like super, super happy, you know, cause it's, it's just, like I said, it's just like a lot, it's tough and we're home 24 seven. And when it rains or it's like dreary out, that's even worse, honestly. Um, but I think I'm going to end my vlog now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.